ginger usually drops after the food gets here. <laughs> that was the best bag of Cheetos I ever had. In my yeah, those Cheetos will be there. They'll be there for you when I think you need. I was them. hungry. You probably were hungry. That was very. I was, I was starting to get like, why am I so weak? I'm like, oh, you haven't eaten. It you eat breakfast? No, I was trying to make it down to the car. <laughs> I gotta order breakfast from Starbucks. I didn't want to push it because y'all be making me feel bad for like asking oh, for stuff. Oh, Tony, man, start the episode, Cam. Let me tell you what she did down at the temple. Improv. Oh. Let me tell you what Mel Mitchell did. Okay. We're trying to learn her a thing or two on the road, Tony. Okay, yeah, man, let me know, man. She orders a brownie with ice cream, right? Uh-huh. The waitress comes back up, hey, we don't got no brownies. I'm so sorry. Uh-huh. Mel's like, oh, I really wanted one, you know. Oh. Waitress goes, you know what? I could go to another restaurant and get a brownie. Oh, my God. Right? And Mel goes, oh, that'd be great. <laughs> and the waitress <laughs> looks at her, and she's like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> and me and Tahir look like, or me and Josh, we're looking like, girl, what are you saying yes for? So she leaves. The woman goes to another restaurant, oh. gets her a personal brownie, hands it to the chef. They make her the ice cream cake. I'm going to tell you the rest later. Not in the later. I'm going to tell you, get back to this part. The chef had nothing to do with it. So, no, the chef did. So we're leaving after the last show. Uh-huh. The chef is waiting for us in between the exit and where our car he is going to be. He's smoking a cigarette. Yeah. He's waiting for her. He's like, there you are. I've been sick of you all weekend. You the opener. How you ordering more food than the headliner? You got the special grilled cheese. <laughs> you oh got my. this and that. French fries ain't got this and that. I'm sick of you. He he laughing, but he ain't playing. Yeah. Right? He also said with your short ass. <laughs> he did. It was hilarious. First of all, the <laughs> chef is me. Keep going. He was a black hilarious. dude, too. Oh, man. I'm sick of you. That chef Grilled cheese me. had five cheeses. You only want one. You always got something special every night. They send it up to you, something special. I eventually asked. This is the headliner. They're like, it's the opener. The opener asking for all this. So we talked to Mel Thank after. You. Why did she offer? Go ahead. So we go, Mel. Why? Why would you accept the brownie? And she says she insisted. I said, Mel, that was a fake insist. She didn't. Nobody really thinks you go right. say. Nobody would. Nah. Yes, I will leave my job and go Let to me. another person's job yeah. to purchase one brownie with my own money. Oh. Let me let me defend myself. That's true. <laughs> you, you don't got a company card if you were server at the Temper Pro. Oh my God. You let gotta me, get now. Let me I hear am school, but the, here's the thing. So they always have good ass desserts, and I always try like, okay, I'm, boom, I'm gonna have this dessert this day. I'm gonna have this dessert because yeah. they had a brownie. I love a brownie Sunday. That's uh-huh. like my favorite dessert. Clearly. So <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> so that day I was like, ooh, okay, because I did it at another club and it was fine. She was like, oh, you want to put in a wrap? I was like, ooh, bet I'm gonna do that this, this, this club too. So I was like, can I get a Caesar wrap? Uh huh. No issues, fine, cool. It was kind of sloppy, but that wasn't going to say nothing. No like, issues, <laughs> but here's a complaint. It was kind of sloppy. But it was like, I ate it because it'd be nothing but garbage on these menus. And That's true. Oh, I yeah, have a lot sure. of dietary restrictions right. now, so I can't oh. eat the shit that That's I used why to we, eat. That, that, that's we told her, you can't eat dinner at these clubs every night. Yep. You got to order before. You, you have to. And eat before the show or mm-hmm. order and bring it to the club. Yep. What and and do? I don't be hungry when I get there, but then but I get you, hungry by the you, second show. You, you should know this already that you're going to get hungry later we on. We're trying to tell going. her because it's two shows. But I be I be eating. I was I was fine for the first time. I was like, dang, I am kind of munchy. Uh-huh. So I did. So, okay. So then. Yeah, I know you said. For. <laughs> I do. <laughs> for Friday night, I was like, ooh, they have the funnel cake fries. Uh-huh. Yummy, delicious. It come with ice cream. Yeah. So I was like, oh, can I get some fun and crowd? She's like, yeah, sure. And then it came and didn't have ice cream. I was like, damn, what the ice cream? And she's like, oh, girl, I'm so sorry we ran out of ice cream. I was like, oh, it's fine, whatever. Uh-huh. So when I ordered the brownie the next day, she was like, I know we ran out of ice cream yesterday. I'm going to make sure your brownie is, I'm going to make sure you take yeah. care of it. I'm like, okay, cool, it's fine. She pumped it up. She did. So yeah. when she came, she's like, girl, we out of brownies. And we had an ice cream or something, something like that. And I was like, damn. Like, she was like, girl, I know. I, I disappointed you. Yeah. The girl was white. So that was another reason I was like, girl, yup, go get it. Wait, wait, so, the girl was what? She was white. Okay, <laughs> Go get it. So, no, but no. Okay, it wasn't me being nasty, but she was like, girl, I'm so sorry. Like, how can I make it up to you? Like, yeah. if I got it. And we were, the club was in like a square where it was restaurants all around. And then yeah. I, like, I sent her. To, to Julie. She don't know where she went to get the brownie from. Yeah. I don't. She didn't. It wasn't like it was oh, in we a got car. brownies R Us yeah. across the way. <laughs> she <laughs> just said, well, you want me to go get one? Yes. Yeah. She, she went in my I was car. Like, you know what? Sure. If you insist, she was like, but. what do I have to do? Now, I did tip her. After we told her, I did. But she it was tipped a heavy... her in San Diego. When I we tipped went... her $150. No, so. she said, how much do I get? $75? We said $150. And I she didn't tip her after she left Tampa. She went and lived her life, went to the movies. The girl, they hated you in the in the waitress's group chat. 
Hey, the open them. Maybe you gonna get a brownie. I pissed the at it. So, so, so wait, you tipped her in San Diego for, we, for the like, Tampa oh, weekend. Had, we was telling Mel and Liz this story, and Mel and Liz is like, "Did you tip her?" And she was like, "That's what she did. I spice." That's so what you did bad. tip her. I just got my emoji, and now the fucking page crew was gonna hate me. Yo, this how, is not. How was you able to get the Please. money to a, later? No, so the thing is, I had also had rapport with her. Her name is Megan. Shout out to Megan. <laughs> I was already talking to her. So we were cool because somebody tried to impersonate as one of my family members and oh, pretend to come. So uh-huh. I had been talking to the girls. Not like it was just like some random Rachel's like, yeah, bitch, go get you get my yeah. fucking brownie. And I will say that was the best fucking brownie. It had fucking... Because <laughs> it didn't come from a comedy right. club. All we from... told Mel, I said, Mel, we want you to know that was a fake insist. Yeah. She didn't Megan really is mean... happy. I have corresponded because I still had her Instagram because she was telling me. I was like, oh, do you know such and such? That's I was like, you I was don't know such and such. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, hey, what's your cash app? And she's like, for what? And I was just like, What's your cash out, bitch? And she was like, okay, and I sent it. And she's like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like, this is a... It's rectified. What did you her tip her in- initially? I didn't. But the thing is, I had thanked her and I talked to her. You know who like, tips, Tony? I thanked her. Who tips? The waitress. And Cam, who don't eat? And who don't eat ever? Cam, that's why I was like, who oh, Cam eat? tips her. I me? never eat. I don't order a thing all weekend. <laughs> yeah. Don't bring me. I that's, might get I a tip I made it regardless. right, though, y'all. And I tip yeah. every time. Me too. I sent her $150. She got her tip, but it was just late. But the fact that you but didn't got tip it. initially, nothing. <laughs> Somebody had to it's tell you. crazy to me. That's <laughs> wild business. That is terrible. And honestly, I will take that. <laughs> I will be I will be wrong for that. But I, I made it right. I sent, her, I sent her 50 brownies week, worth of money. No, a week later. She, 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 a week later. <laughs> a week later. So in, in the moment, week, in, the, just, in the weekend. Oh, she, yeah. You know, that whole week. <laughs> She was I like, hate man. black women. <laughs> that was her all weekend. I hate she black women. She went down and women. called for Ron DeSantis oh. early. She, man. Give me my ballot. How do I get the black books out of the schools? <laughs> How do I get the black she was steaming? It's bad. <laughs> I will admit, it's bad, but I made it right. I did all this for her, and she left me. When you came back the next Nothing. week, she had to delete all her posts about you. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So cause, cause here, here's anywhere. why I was like, okay, I was sympathetic <laughs> to her. Took me her bio. <laughs> I was sympathetic to her because she did pump up the brownie for the next night, for the following night. Now, in her night. defense, they was missed everything she ordered. They yeah. missed, and she was so also I ordering stuff it. that's not on the menu. I but they, oh. the stuff she ordered, they but was I, like. But the way she pumped it up and sold it, I'm going to have the brownie for you. No, you know she was, I was this? like, you know what? Yeah. She was Big like, how can no I make burger. it right? I'm right. so sorry. So right. I was like, well, if you want to go get it, like, sure. It was, yeah. it was and it was no good. They had it on a bed of, like, cookie, Biscoff butter. Yeah. It was like a, they had a charred marshmallow on top, like a s'more. I was like, this shit is delicious. But that no tip. I don't care what you talking about. And I was wrong for that. And I, when I tell you, I was like, oh, Kev got the tips. So I didn't even think to tip mm, on top no, of that. Hell no, But I think man. the 150 I made up for nothing, it. I nothing, Joe. I think the 150 made up for it. I made it right. I try not to eat at comedy clubs ever. Nothing against them. But it's, I don't get it. It's, it's just it's club rare. food. It's, it's so greasy. Now, it's flappers. So- Flappers, flappers, have, flappers, flappers, flappers have depends some on the food. comedy club. If they got like an impossible something, I still might get that. But I just tip automatic. I, I just tip like, automatic. Anywhere else? Uh, the food was it is, is free. in Cleveland. Is that what the name of it? I never been. Yeah, I only done the improv. Is- not, maybe it's not hilarious. Yeah, I learned my lesson and I made it right, y'all. Uh, y'all... Your emoji is a no sign and a money sign now. No, <laughs> I done got like four <laughs> no emojis tip. today. I'm so no sorry. Tip. No, no tip. tip, Mitchell. Man, a but lot you, of people want to admit they wrong though. You rectified it in her defense. The best part of the story, you said that 150. She I said that 150. 150. All she the way she's got to remember like, is the tip. Thank you so much. Yeah. She, yeah, that, you done, that was hard. You hit. went above and beyond. Right. She may not come when Listen, you want to. Listen, we done had to but learn Mel. Said, Boy, this is her first tour. Yeah. It's my first tour. We, she, we, one more funny story while, while we're destroying I'm Black Widow. <laughs> they going to hate me. That, I'm not no, doing really no. good right now, Kev. Don't ruin it even more. This story is about to be. This is <laughs> this is internal story. <laughs> so we oh, we was eating. There was a period of the tour where we was all into Chick Fil A chicken sandwich uh-huh. salads. I mean, I didn't know they made. I didn't know they was putting the nuggets in the salad. Yeah. Josh was like, Cam, you have the salad Chick Fil A? I was like, I don't do no salads. He was like, They got the nuggets in there. Oh, that's I the said, only reason you showed up what? for the salad. Absolutely. <laughs> Sick of you. They man. got the nuggets, bacon, cheese. Mm. Yeah. Forget it. Plus it's ranch. Fil- it's a filthy salad. Honey, oh, so get the a healthy salad, Tony. Right. I want chicken nuggets with lettuce around it. He got uh-huh. it without the salad. I did. <laughs> he just got he a just burger. Got all nuggets, <laughs> cheese, and bacon. So we was eating these. This one weekend, we was. Three and four. <laughs> we was kind of going overboard. With the, every time there was a Chick-fil-A, salad. Me, her, and Josh. Yeah. Salad, salads everywhere. 
So one time she trying to listen. And uh-huh. her to finish, she was trying to listen. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm gonna order my food ahead of time. Right. I'm gonna send it to the Good club. Move. Send it to the club. Good move. Now, again in her defense, the, the <laughs> door dash person just took the food and threw it on me. No, girl. literally, like, they just it was in nowhere the near. The <laughs> the door, they just took a picture. It was around the corner from the thing. It was one of those yeah. clubs in like a little, like, all these businesses are there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They just found a wall. Oh. And put, now, Greg is in the club at yeah. the door. So uh-huh. Mel's assuming, like most people would, they gonna open the door. Like, well, hey, got an order for yeah. Mel. Greg gonna see him. Oh, yeah, you can put it right here. She can grab. This is right. what she's thinking. This is not one of her, not her fault. They put outside. <laughs> and uh, Greg, she's like, Greg, can you grab my food? And me and, J- and the tour chat, can you grab my food? Here's a picture. And me and Josh are like, Because ah. I had to, because I'm on stage. <laughs> so I was like, it, it would, took too long. Yeah. I couldn't retrieve it myself. I was like, I got to go on stage. Greg, can you grab this for me? I'm so sorry. Right. Like, he was like, all right, nah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Greg, please, I'm sorry. Like, I tried to do right. Yeah. But the door dash was like, <laughs> Greg, the door dash put that shit in the middle of the sidewalk. <laughs> It was probably that lady that you pre stole the brownie from. They're like, Mel Mitchell, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put this food in the train tracks. <laughs> so Greg was like, All right, I'm gonna get it this time. Don't, I'm, I'm never doing this for you again. Yeah. No LOL. Mm. Oh, no, no LOL. Got <laughs> no. gotcha. If you want the chicken salad, order it to your room. Yeah. Oh. In her defense as well, Mel learns. She only makes the same thing. You just gotta once. get me together one time. Right, and then you good. To I'm gonna go. tip every waitress how much you need. Well, yeah. how much is your rent? <laughs> Whatever you need. Because they're gonna from... be texting ahead. The, the yeah. one with the curly yeah. hair, or maybe she'll be different this time. Right. My you hair is different every tour stop, so you never <laughs> know. You nationwide. Nationwide. <laughs> they're following you on Instagram. Oh. Just so they know what you look like. I made it right with Megan. Like. No, yeah. I talked you to Megan. You made it right. Yes, I made it right. Yeah. I spent a 150 right before the first, so she probably made her rent a light this month or whatever similar. 150 is a good. 150 is a good time. And her hair was green. I feel like she understood. She, <laughs> she had green hair. Cash. And I'm not that kind of a bitch. I was very, and I really went. I was went and found. Out, I was like, girl, thank you so much for this. I should have yeah. been like, bitch, what's your cash app at that very moment? Yeah. But I wasn't even thinking that in a not in a malicious way. I just no, wasn't. Yeah, You're like, this is the best brownie I've ever had. Ever yeah, had. Yeah. So good. And then, this brownie tastes right, like somebody bye. went to a different restaurant and got it. And then it. the cook cussing me out was so fucking funny because oh, yeah. it's like I have a lot of Yo. again I have dietary restrictions now. Yeah. So it's like it was like five cheese melted real cheese. I was like, can y'all just put one cheese on that bitch? I don't yeah. need all five cheeses. Just right. put the cheddar. And I guess they were like, how dare this bitch ask yep. for that, one cheese? That one was funny because she she was like, I'm asking him to do less work and he mad. Nah, man, you're going against the grain. He got a system. Five cheese grilled cheese might have been what he added to the menu. No, it's his personal. That's, that's his personal thing. Yeah. I, I picked Why all just the doing five one cheese? cheese. I went to Italy and France and picked yeah. out the cheeses. I'm a chef for real. <laughs> I got on props and the white the white tops. I love the fact that he told you. He was way too much. That was so funny. He's fucking sitting there walking next to the car. He was like, (laughs) you. (laughs) That was like. Yeah. That was, where was that at? <laughs> Tampa, Tampa, Tampa. Tampa. Oh, Tampa, Tampa. Yeah. Gotcha. That shit was so funny. I couldn't even be mad because that shit, it was like Trick Daddy was cussing me out. Yeah, like, I really felt hilarious. like it was very Floridian. And it was that, very... In that improv, though, they get a lot of food from the surrounding restaurants because when I go, you know, they ain't got nothing, you know, vegan on the menu, so they always give me pad thai from right across, right across the street. You are, you got the people going across the street too? That, but they told me that. <laughs> they, they, they were like, but, but they told no, that's me. what they so told me. So this is the thing they do, and y'all over here shaming me. They the always. Pl- <laughs> the plot thickens. See, and I didn't see. The plot thickens. No. I never heard you stutter. So no, because. <laughs> the, the, Why the, the, you the, said this 10 minutes me. ago? The because plot. it's not the same. It's, it's like, <laughs> they was like, yo, we know you're vegan. We don't really have no vegan options on the menu, but, you know, we, we always get food from across. It's literally. Right there at the door. <laughs> I know where my pad tie came from. <laughs> where where we sell the shirts is right there. Where that brownie come from? It couldn't have been far because she wasn't gone. Well, long. Did, I came back to the room. She my got shit out of was there. Where, where did it come from? It was it was from one of the Glove nearby places. Speculation. <laughs> Accusations. I know exactly where my pad tie came from because they told me we can get you pad tie from right here because we always order from. But there. I guess that's the thing they do. Like, oh, we can out. Y'all not hot. Shit. Wait, wait, wait. My so titties they, wait, wait. sweat. They I'm said, about to be musty. Hold on, hold on. Huh? Y'all not about I to have some, me musty. This is for Mel. So they said to you, we know you're vegan, but we got this pad tie. We can go place. <laughs> kind of like, hey, we know you want a brownie, so we can go over here and get a brownie. 
Yeah. I don't know how Basically, it's not the same. That's what I'm saying. The only difference, the Except only difference I'm sure I can you see tipped. is... It's the same. Well, I definitely tipped. There's two differences. I'll, I'll, I'll be wrong for that. I'll eat that. But, but there's another difference, her, too. But she offered, so clearly that's something they that's do. That's why I gave you grace when because she pumped up the brownie the night before. But you was hassling them all weekend. I wasn't necessarily hassling them. <laughs> yeah. that, that's what the chef said. Yeah, I'm just going by what the chef said. There's three differences. <laughs> Substitutions before. Uh-huh. But that might be canceled out by them not having nothing. I'll talk fast. Sorry. I, I'll cancel those two out. Yeah. Tony's the headliner. Fair. He done been at that room. Tony is putting people money in the people's pocket. Yeah. They treat and, the headliner different at clubs. And they know I don't eat. What they got. That's the other so thing. So you knew in advance. But like, to me, the pad ties right here. The pad ties across the street, the brownies across the street, that's a wash. And when I say across the street, it's not even a street. It's y'all been there? Yeah, it's yeah. literally that it's Asian a, it's place like the food hall type right thing. in front of the door of the Tampa yeah, Improv. Yeah, yeah. When people come out, it's right there. But again, I feel like because literally it was not there when I went on stage. When I came back off stage, it was, it was quick. There. It, was, it quick. was quick. So clearly, yeah. within one of them, one of them in the area in that yeah, little, and because that area wasn't popping. gone long. That area's popping. Yeah, because I feel like she wouldn't have offered if she really had to go somewhere. She was right. like, I know it's restaurants over here. It was just funny the girl's face. That's what made me laugh. Well, yeah, because because I gave her credit because she pumped up. That brownie the night she, before. No, she, she did. did. She was like, next tomorrow, we got yeah. you, girl. And I was like, in the green room with that. Tomorrow, you gonna be good. Yeah. I'm like, okay, bitch, perfect. Like, I don't want a little brownie. She, she, like, she, she done got her anyway. hopes up to 11. She got the whole... And you know, so you tasted them a little bit at that point. Yeah. No, my mouth was ready for it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Your lips was lined up around the <laughs> around like, the building. your lips was lined up. I was like, honestly, don't put it in now, bitch. Wait till I get off stage. So, like, when I was like... stage, think about the brownie. I'm like, yeah. So, then... Dick and I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna have that brownie. <laughs> like, so I'm telling my disgusting That's one of her joke. jokes. She just don't say that. Right? <laughs> I don't say it like that. Jay was like, Wait, I'm like, what? Why did she say that? <laughs> Is brownie a nickname for something? <laughs> the brown. It's so funny telling like explicit jokes in front of Kev's audience because it's always an auntie uh. right directly in the front. And I see the moment she's like, nope, she's going to hell. <laughs> Yo, no. So when when you were doing churches and Tony got sick and you uh-huh. were like, hey. Would yep. you be cool? If Kev calls me up and he's like, and if anybody knows me, they know I, I swear, you know. Uh, oh man, oh no, big so, time. Yeah. No, okay. you gonna be fucking these black women. You gonna say cuss? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be here. I cuss. You say uh, cuss. Thank you. Uh, cuss. Have some so, respect. Yeah, Kev, Kev hits me up. He's like, <laughs> no, he's like, hey, would you be, nice. uh, would you be cool like opening for me <laughs> at some of these churches? And I was like, yeah, of course, absolutely. As soon as I hang up, I'm like, not only can I not cuss, <laughs> I can't be like. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? It's fine. I'll figure it out. I can work clean, whatever. Yeah. Then we, the very first gig, like Kev's favorite joke of mine is the one, uh, the blacks. Yeah. How you can pluralize any group except when a white guy says the blacks or yeah. blacks. It just sounds weird. <laughs> Kev's like, hey, man, open with your blacks joke. I'm yeah. like, can I get my sea legs <laughs> on these shows? Can I do one or two shows before I just open with this race bit? Right. Like, the race <laughs> bit off the top. Yeah. I'm like, People are like, what? <laughs> yeah. That's a great joke, though. Thank yeah, you. Thank for you. sure. You got to ease them into it. Like, after funny, the first man. stop, they were like, now, Mel, you funny, but you got to ease them Mel into the dick Mel was coming joke. out. Titty okay, balls. Man, how y'all doing? Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good night. <laughs> she unloaded the clip. We was like, you might introduce yourself yeah. first. How y'all doing? Ease in. Tip em. So now it's like, how y'all doing? Tip em. I'm a cuss. I'm a really? tip em with some church jokes. Yeah. Hey, I cuss a little Unlike bit. Unlike that waitress. I came from the church. <laughs> dick. <laughs> they can accept that. I grew uh, up in the church, but dick. She came so. in no foreplay. Yeah. Ramming. They were like, no what? Vaseline. Nothing. She just came in. No lube. Y'all ever just be fucking a dude in the back of a Jeep? <laughs> As soon as she hit the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ever Jesus, just be fucking a dude? I heard it. Yeah, that's how I do. Y'all ever just be fucking a dude in the back of a Jeep? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> they be like. Come on, man. <gasps> Y'all never got your butt in the grocery store parking lot? Come on, man. Pastor's wife. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <Whoa>! Bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't be acting all oh, churchy, wow. bitch. <laughs> Come on now. My bad. Uh, you look That's like you've been hilarious. fucking back with you. Look at your shirt. Yeah, I had it's a size dick. My God. And they be like, whoa. Whoa. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Right? Come Who's on. with me? Anybody? Who come with on. me, huh? Hey. The devil? Hey, until you get it, right? <laughs> People come straight from church, like. Right. And then it's the first comment. Right. From out like, the gate. Out the gate. Pussy. <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Vaginal fluids dripping, <laughs> not in me. Y'all like, ever put your pussy on the jet stream or the, or the bathtub? You ever put your pussy right on that jet stream? Woo! You put it on right on that jet stream? 
know what the fuck I'm talking about. I know your old ass be putting your pussy on the jet stream. So you ain't never put your pussy. Come on. I'm in that house, Jess. I know you don't got 11 kids. You go to the crowd. You go to the crowd. I find right. You get it? You get it right? Don't let me hanging. Come on. Come on now. Don't act like it's just me. Oh, dude. Huh, Out the gate. Is, I'm having a good time. That's hilarious. <laughs> no but, opening but they credits. Know, they know, though. They know. I had. I mean. They don't. They don't. I, well, I they start have no out, reason to know. I start out with uh-huh. City Girls as a warning. Uh-huh. It's a real ass bitch. Keep a fuck by the niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, what, it's like, stick along, everyone, if you're ready. Like, oh, that's what I come out to, too. Easy. <laughs> Easy. The dude, thing that's good about Melo, she stand ten toes down in it. Yeah, she's like, y'all ain't finna judge me. <laughs> they be like, we are, we dude. Are. That... <laughs> but she get them laughing. Are you are you hosting? <coughs> she's hosting. Yeah. That's hilarious. And I, I keep coming back. Hey y'all, <laughs> <laughs> remember the dick from earlier? <laughs> now that y'all loose, we can put the dick right in the pussy. Now that it's loose. It'd be funny because they'd be like with me, but by the, I don't warm them up for to hear jokes that be wild. Right. So then I come back. So oh, now y'all want to laugh at some dick jokes, uh, huh? That's great y'all though. Y'all acting she, funny she, with yeah. me. Opens them up, right? It the, absolutely yeah. does. Dude, I was in Chicago at, uh, well, outside of Chicago, CG's, you know, CG's. Nah. It's like a smaller club. And uh-huh. uh, and the host, he was like, uh, hey, is there anything you don't want me to say? I was like, "Have your do your best stuff. I want yeah. you to have the best set you can. Get a right. standing ovation, whatever. I am hot. He goes up, yes, I'm here. and his opening, <laughs> like, his whole set was about abortion. Oh. And I was like... I mean, I told him, I guess this is his yeah. best shit. Live your know. best life. Yeah, and you just hear it from the audience through his whole set. I mean, it, they were just, oh, oh. oh. He's like, oh, like, no, oh, oh, yeah. oh. oh, brother, this <laughs> guy stinks. <laughs> yeah. oh. That never gets rude. old. Oh, oh brother. <laughs> brother, this guy stinks. He really, like, somebody was like, this voice actor really went in there and gave it his all. Like, he really, oh, brother. Man, <laughs> it's from the so, that never gets uh, old to it, me, man. Because his face really oh. helps sell it. And the way they be looking, the way they just propped up, and they look like pushed back, they just like, oh, <laughs> bro. What are you talking about? SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Oh. I've never seen SpongeBob. Oh, I, I oh. never saw that episode. But that clip, uh, I have seen a million that times. That episode is one of the funniest, uh, first of all. I think that's another millennial like line. Like, are you pre SpongeBob or post SpongeBob? Because like <laughs> I'm the nineties, yeah, the nineties. What are they? Vegetables or fruit? <clears throat> and what does that make? Ketchup. <clears throat> Oh, this that's, oh, that's a remix no, version. Man, don't mess it up, man. Why are they always show? messing oh, shit up? Spongebob was doing stand-up. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, he that got, is he hilarious. got progressively oh, more oh, bad. Oh, as the sentence went on, it sounded like a car, car driving by. Brother, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> and you that's can't a, even see him, that's though. Hilarious. That's what makes me even funny. You cannot even oh, see the fish that's saying That's what it feels like. Uh, oh, absolutely. Like, who said uh, it? Who said yeah. that? Who, who is it? Who? Dude, who that's how I felt Friday this? night over the Saturday night when I had the fucking heckler and I couldn't see him. Oh, and I was like, right. oh. shut the fuck up, whoever you are. Shut up. He wasn't oh. even heckling. You know when someone's drunk and they think it's just y'all two on the phone? Oh, yeah. And it's like, God. stop. It's not a call or response. Okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm laughing because that old brother. <laughs> oh, this guy stinks. Dude, man. when you kept saying it, I literally was like, is this a black movie? Nah, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, Straight what those Fridays? I ain't like, never seen SpongeBob. Oh, SpongeBob man. is so fucking funny. SpongeBob is funny, man. Uh, you gotta oh, watch. Bro. The first couple seasons, it is still That's funny. Hilarious. And the way they were sitting there, just the assortment of fish in the audience, they were just like. They already had their back half oh, turned. man. They was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother, this guy oh, stinks. Tell, he just had enough. He's like, I'm going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say oh, something. That never gets old. That's never. Hila- that is hilarious. No, my oh, God. Bro. Never. <laughs> this guy stinks. Hold on one second. It's the food. Hello? <laughs> Oh man! Oh, my. I'm gonna give me a little whole bath because I done sweat it down. Y'all got me laughing. My titties probably done sweat through the shirt. <laughs> me too. The boob sweat. <laughs> no, you just... See, look, it's a little boob sweat stain right here. Oh, oh God. that is hilarious! No, oh, man, brother. classic. This guy I just feel like sick. I've been in like we've been sitting here laughing for four hours straight. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna sleep good when I get oh, to that hotel. Oh, dude, that's uh my cheeks hurt. You, you guys won't know. There's a uh, he's a comic from <laughs> Seattle. This dude, Harold Gomez, uh, he used to tour with Ty Barnett. This is probably like 15, 20 years ago, uh-huh. right? When Ty was on Last Comic Standing. Yeah. They went to Detroit. Ty had done a club. How, uh, Harold had featured for him, right? Uh-huh. 
then this black promoter after the show comes up, he's like, oh man, you, Ty, great honor to meet you. You guys are hilarious. I was wondering if you'd come and bless our show. He's had a black show he's gonna do, right? And and Ty's like, I'll come hang, but I'm not gonna, you know, I'm doing the club. And my buddy Harold at the time, he's like, man, I'm a soldier for this. I'm a soldier for this art. Fuck that, I'll do any stage. <laughs> So they get there, they announce it's Detroit. They, yeah. they go, this next comic is business from Seattle. Give it up for Harold Gomez. Dead silence. Doesn't yeah. even get a clap. Damn. He goes up, says his first joke, nothing. Uh, so says, his, for this. says his next joke, <laughs> nothing. Dude in the front row is looking at him. He goes, <laughs> I'm not going to say the N-word, but he goes, boo, N-word, boo. Oh. <laughs> and Harold, like, freaking out, he just goes, DJ, play some, play some. DJ is like, what? He goes, I don't give a fuck, just fucking play some. So Harold's like, all the ladies in the house say ho, all the hoes in the house say ladies. Just trying to get something going, right? So he, he gets a little chunky, he goes, cut it. Says his next joke. Dude in the front row looking up, he goes, I said, boo, N-word, boo. <laughs> Harold says, then Harold goes, Next motherfucker in here that boos me, I'm gonna get off this stage and whoop their ass. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. So he just puts the mic and gets off stage. And here's the best part: fold your arms like this. So you're the promoter, right? <laughs> Don't change no matter what I do. First Ty goes up and the guy's like, "Hey, thanks Ty for coming out." Shakes his hand. Harold comes up to me and goes, "Hey man, thanks for the time." <laughs> Just on his elbow, and then just fucking leave. Not that. I'm a soldier for this. Yeah. Oh. The elbow dapper? Yeah, just, you just, okay, man. Black just, folks gonna take a challenge. Oh, I wish you dude. would probably put your hands on me. Oh. I'll boo you even if I wasn't booing you now. Oh. Now you're gonna have to get booed and beat Now you're giving nice. me incentive to oh. boo. Oh, what? Dude, yeah. I'll beat now y'all ass. Boo. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <Yeah>. Boom! <laughs> Black folks love that thing. Who? Yeah. You yeah. mean who? I just got off work. I, I wish you, I here. wish a I've nigga been would. For this. Dude, I You're did inviting it. us to this. <laughs> I, 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 I don't, don't want to hog this. Bomb is hog it, so funny to me, man. My, well, Miami, I was doing a Ooh. Christmas shows for University of Miami, the mm-hmm. Hurricanes that won the national championship. Oh, this is like is tough. four or what five years ago. So I get in on a Thursday, and they were like, uh, they were like, "Hey, we got the show at the, I think it was the Miami Improv." They were like, "You wanna, you wanna do it?" I was like, "Yeah." And then, uh, and Did then, you say I'm a soldier for this. No, I just, but I'm like, I'm, all, yeah, I'm always gonna go, go up. I'm a soldier. So for I this. get up there, and it's a, it's a black show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think there was a white person in the audience. Cool, whatever, you yeah. know. Um, and the host, who's not really like, you know, the host, you got to get them going, right? Right. The host is not getting them going, oh and he ends God. his set by saying, "All right, guys, now." If you ain't feeling these comics, you gotta boo them. Tells oh, them this. Come on. Then man. he says, "Quote." What did they fuck me for? Right. Said it, then, <laughs> then he says, "And those napkins on your table, throw them at them. Oh, if you ain't feeling these comics, what? throw them at them." Come on, man. So the first comic is this white girl that goes up, and she was just she's she was obviously green, and she was just bragging in the green room how I just did a open mic and I got an applause break, and I was like, "Okay, cool." Yeah. <laughs> she goes up, two minutes into her set. Somebody throws a fucking used Q-tip at her. Oh, to where come she on, even man. goes, did somebody just throw a Q-tip at me? What did you a need a Q-tip? Used Q-tip? Like, yeah, used somebody me. was like this and just said, "Fuck this bitch." Wow. And then, like four minutes in, the DJ starts playing "Hit the Road, Jack." Oh. They boo her off stage. I'm next. Oh my god. Oh and my I'm god. doing 15 minutes. Oh. So I go up and I, I <laughs> first I address. I was like, I know it's another white person. I'm sorry, whatever. Uh, I do my first joke, and you know how like you have your first joke, and you're like, this always hits. Yeah. And it gets like this, <laughs> like okay. that, and then I start laughing. I was like, okay, I get it. So this <laughs> is just gonna be work. Did my time. I gave myself maybe a six for uh-huh. that set, right? But I d- didn't get booed off. Didn't get booed off. We're in the green room. Which is a win. And this, yeah. this scenario is a win. We're in the green room, and the white girl, she goes, did they boo you? I go, no, no, no. She goes, did they throw anything at you? And one of the black dudes on the show goes, yeah, laughter. Oh. <laughs> God, damn. Dude, that was, I have video, too, of that girl bombing because I was going to record my set. So I have, a, I have the video of it. You survived that. You survived, uh, Jay. Um, well, yeah. Like, Hell yeah. YouTube. You have to fight. You gotta see me. They set you up for the fail. Yeah, disgusting. that is horrible. <laughs> earwax? Hey, we're earwax. My own earwax is oh. disgusting. I'll be disgusted with myself when I clean my ear and I'll I look. Be, I'll be like, man. If you look at your AirPods, I, clean, and it's like, oh, I look at my oh, AirPods I just like, what clean is this? You think you? I've never cleaned my ear the day in my life? It's like every Wait, day wax AirPods, is in there. You take oh, your oh, AirPod oh, out and it's oh, all kinds of gunk and just. And somebody, that's like somebody throwing their own AirPod at you. Oh yeah. I'll be like, no, we gonna we gonna go. Did somebody just throw a Q-tip at me? No, it's used. Oh, you got to fight. Like, I'm trying to figure 
out did they just just you know what I got a Q tip. Why they had Q tips on them though? Oh, did they have it in like a Ziploc I bag from know. earlier? Right. Like people be having them in their purse. I've seen women have a Q tip in their purse. Do you yeah. like carrying Q tips? No, just they're actually think? terrible for your ears. You shouldn't clean your I don't ears. I don't use Q tips. I shouldn't, but I do. You shouldn't. You're going to pop your eardrum out. You know what I use? Maybe. Wet wipes. Wet wipes, uh, washcloth, warm yeah. coat, warm compress. It's got to be thin enough to get up in my ear. But you ain't supposed to put anything bigger than like your forefinger this way into your ears. Yeah. Because your ear is supposed to do the, the work for you. Right. You have it like, this is on Google Drive or some shit? Who's the comedian? Oh, this is it. You can hear the audience already you talking. Can't go in there unless you're rich and responsible. So I go in, I blend Five, in, I put in a ponytail. You hear somebody just goes, oh, God. Oh. Hold oh. on, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard, oh, my God. He goes, oh, God. Dude, this it is, is secondhand right. embarrassment. This hurts me to watch. Oh, there. You... Oh. Oh, they started hit the road deck on you? Ray Charles? Oh, God. Yeah, dude. Yeah, no. That's no. way worse than what happened to me. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, nah, you got to see me. <laughs> oh, my hit God. The road jack? Oh. Yeah. All right. Let's close with this because the lunch oh. is here. <laughs> Random. No, you were great, Jay. It's a great doctor. Don't Thanks. you feel bad. Thank you. Random question generator. You're up first, Tony Baker. Oh. What can you talk about for hours? Oh, uh, movies. That's what's easy. A, what's one that you haven't seen? I could talk about uh, me not seeing The Emperor's New Groove. What? Yeah, I haven't seen That's The Emperor's the New Groove. Ones. I haven't seen Hercules. I haven't seen Pocahontas. I haven't seen Brave. I haven't seen The Good Dinosaur. I haven't seen Brave. Or I haven't Dinosaur. seen... Uh... So you're anti-Pixar. No. Or I'm animated watching. films. I didn't like Brave. Emperor's New Groove is really good. Emperor's New Groove is fantastic. People have been on my neck about the Emperor's New Groove. Emperor's New Groove is amazing. Yeah, so... Who's the big dude who was on Seinfeld? Huh? Crush or something? No, no, the guy who's like... Patrick Wharton, I think his name is. Oh, Patrick Warburton. He talks like that. Yeah, He's hilarious. He's also the tick. He is hilarious in Emperor's New Groove. Is that David Spade? Yeah. Emperor's New Groove? David Spade and John Goodman, I want to say. Oh, so everybody hmm. saw it for me. Huh? Yes, man. Yes, but I you also have to watch a documentary on how it was been made. been doing me in this. Did okay. you know it was supposed it. to be? Okay. <laughs> so it came out in a time. Now, this is shit I know. Fuck geography. This is kind of shit I know. <laughs> it came out in a time where Disney and DreamWorks were beefing. So the man, John Katzenberg or some shit, Jeffrey. left Disney. Jeffrey Katzenberg left and started DreamWorks. So he was beefing with Disney so hard. Anytime Disney made a movie, they made a movie just yeah. like it. So that's why we had Madagascar and Into the Wild and Shark Tale and we had Nemo. We had Ant and Bugs Life so uh -huh. they were beefing so we had Road to El Dorado on DreamWorks and then they had um, Emperor's New Groove but Emperor's New Groove was supposed to be about this whole South American uh, what the, it was some kind of myth they had like about something of the sun some bullshit but it got cut down Eartha Kitt was still gonna be in it was supposed to have um, Owen Wilson no mm -hmm. the, uh, the brother no Luke, Owen, Owen Luke, Wilson's right Luke Owen Wilson. Wilson's the right one okay. Owen Wilson Oh, wow. That guy, he was supposed oh, to be in wow. it and all of it. Wow. And it just got dumbed down to the Emperor's New Groove. And it was supposed to be hmm. like a musical and all this other shit. Really? But they just had to dumb it down like times 10. So it's a whole documentary on that on YouTube. And then the movie itself is excellent. I haven't seen it either. I haven't seen The Lion King ever. The none Lion of King them. came out before Mel was born. I've never seen any of them. The, that whatever is the, odd, though. You uh, haven't seen none, one and a half. I haven't two. seen. Uh, I haven't seen. All I know is the hey, hey, hey yeah, whatever that shit. Roger, hey, you about to be suitable. Uh, the yeah, Emperor's yeah, new groove bomb. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, I did a million. But is million. everything about money with you? Come no, on, come on, Tony. Just, you know, we just said it was funny. We didn't say it made a lot of the box <laughs> I'm office. Just saying, we just it was one of them like. I didn't B see team. the hunchback either. <laughs> it was the B team Disney movie. There's no Lion King or yeah. fucking Hercules, but it was like them straight to DVD. It was. It came out in theaters, but it was kind of like them. It's a cartoon, right? Yeah, it's a cartoon like that in Atlantis or two. Atlantis. Now Atlanta's one of my favorite. Disney I like Atlantis. But You're it up, wasn't Jay. like they friend. But, but Jay, did you see Sister Act too? Yes, oh. I told you. That. What, what can you talk about for hours, Jay? <laughs> uh, martial arts, Bruce Lee. Like I know a bunch about oh. that. A bunch about Bruce. How old was he? Died. Thirty-three. I don't know. 
<laughs> just messing. <laughs> <laughs> Died by, it was man. listed as uh, death by misadventure. He had allergic reaction to some. Well, dude, I talked to a guy in Vegas. That That's they're how he doing died? A, it was listed as death by misadventure, but he had a headache. He was at mm. uh, Ting Pei, I think was her name, but uh, he was with a, a lady that wasn't his wife. Yikes. Uh, she was an actress, uh, and uh, there was rumor that they were, you know, hooking up. And he had a, a he headache and took like some medicine and and I think he had like a blood bleed in his brain or some shit like that. I thought he, oh, that's Brandon Lee. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon Lee, Lee got the, shot. The shot said. with the, the, the craziest thing about the Brandon yeah. Lee death is so Bruce Lee was filming a movie called Game of Death, Game which most people yep. when he died. So and in the movie, the way they because he had died while they were filming it, mm -hmm. they had to change the script because obviously they're gonna have somebody fill in that doesn't necessarily look like Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. So what they did in that the script of Game of Death is say that the the triads uh, were going after him and they put a real bullet in a gun and shot him in the making of Game of Death. Oh. Brandon Lee yeah. died by a gun on the set of The Crow, yeah. which is crazy. Dang. Uh, I mean, yeah, I can, I, you know, from doing MMA and studying with two of Bruce Lee's original students, I got all kinds of inside stories. Oh, but this one dude told me uh, in Vegas that they're making like a documentary, a little inside scoop, that supposedly uh, Bruce was set up and he, uh, when he was at Ting Pei's, like she was dating a, a triad, I think, uh -huh. or a mob, somebody involved in the mob. And uh, when Bruce took that thing, he said to her that he's, he's like, I've been poisoned. And like supposedly, you know, if this that makes more sense out, than death by misadventure. Yeah, I mean that's just yeah, yeah. He carried a gun. Bruce Lee in his older eight years, he carried a gun apparently. Oh, yeah, the pills. Yeah, yeah the pills. Yeah, they pills. Yeah. Yeah. Man, what beer about you? Is his favorite you, drink. You ever see that video of uh, him demonstrating the moves to that guy? Like it was a black and white video, and, and the old guy was standing there. And he was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, uh, and the kicks, I was like, yo, he is so fast. One of my instructors uh, from back in the day was in that video. Uh -huh. he's, he's one of the. He was like one of the people that Bruce was uh, demonstrating with. Man, yeah. Um, for me, I can talk about Marvel, the MCU. Oh mm. shit! Easily, I can go movie by movie. However, you want to do. What's your top it. five movies? Marvel, MCU. Yeah. Oh. Top five MCU top though, five. not all Black Marvel. Black Panther, Wakanda, better be one and two, right? <laughs> I think that's so. <laughs> I think that's too easy though. Like, I feel like that's too you can easy. choose however you decide. No, give us your I five say, favorite. Um, any order, just to make any it order. Yeah, no particular think. order. Uh, Winter Soldier. Mine okay. too. It's in my top five. Winter Soldier. Uh, controversial. Age of Ultron. I love Age of Ultron. My personal top five. Okay. I think it gets a bad rap. It's not my top five, but I I really enjoy it. I, I enjoyed really, it too. I'll I don't know what the issue is with it. Civil War. Also, okay. Civil War is in my top five. I would say Black Panthers. I'll put them together because I don't want to take up two spots. Mm -hmm. And I say, mm, I gotta think. Let me see. Uh, the Thor movies were ass Doctor cheap. Strange, Dragon Rock was good. Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy. Hated, you hated Doctor Strange? I hated Doctor Strange. The first mm -hmm. one. The first one. What? I've only watched it maybe once or twice. Oh, I just Iron Man too. What you hate about? I love Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is fun. And I just say maybe the OG Avengers too. Good time. Uh, okay. Good time. Oh, but honestly, oh. the the theater experience of fucking in game. Oh, that's, oh, that was that was a sporting event. Yeah. We yeah. were I don't like, know if you ever have that again? No, I feel like we'll never, we'll never get have that it again. again. Literally, no. And then just you, it took so no many movies to close, get. Though. It did, but it took which so many one? movies to get to that point. No way home. It, did. it came close. It, it you was. got it, you got the fan service, but I feel like it kind of was cheap though. Like when you when when the the hype died down, it was like that wasn't really that good though. No way home. Yeah, like it was like. Wait, it what was, part is when all the Spider Man's came out? Yeah. No, I lost it, but like when you really, when the dust settled, it was like. And then when you saw when the multiverse, none of them also connected. Again, mm. this is why I could talk about this shit for hours. Yeah. The yeah. multiverse, it was different multiverse. When you watch Loki, when you watch all the things now, and it's supposed to be this multiverse, it's not cohesive together. Yeah. Yeah. The one you saw in the stars <clears throat> when all the shit was happening, you saw the other villains, like, oh shit. That's why Kane. But it's not the same multiverse from fucking Loki. It's not the same multiverse yeah. from fucking Multiverse of Madness. I'm like, what are we but doing? But it's here? our Spider Man's. That's why I forget that's all that what other it stuff. Was, it was I remember you and you. That's what made it fire. Yeah, I like you and you all together. And it resurrected interest in seeing them again because it was like, man, I miss God. I need, and, and that's also hot take. I think that I really enjoyed the Amazing Spider-Man. I think it was a better set of movies. I think like the Sam Raimi's. No, no Amazing the fucking Amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield. You like the second one? Oh, the, I enjoyed them. The, the second one. The second one Ooh. is is Logan might X. be my Jamie Foxx's character. 
the way they made him they fumbled the ball just doggone glasses and then the guy's just like uh, why hey, are your glasses I believe in you that are? <laughs> he's like you believe in me okay bruh i mean the nigga I get, got I get webs coming out his hands I don't... and you got visual impairment there's no way you wearing your glasses like this. No way. Uh, All the time. Uh, That's right. what I hate about Andrew Garfield. Guy. That's why I think Tom Holland captures the most Spider-Man elements. Uh, Andrew Garfield had a lot of his sarcasm, yeah, but he, he wasn't, wasn't a nerd. nerd. Perfect. 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 He yeah. was. Yes. That's but what Tom Holland name? does the best. Tom isn't a nerd either, though. Tom don't look like a nerd. But he gives me more of that. He's, he's small. He appears more we're, younger. We're, the young yeah, helps. Yeah. All he's bringing is youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's not like a nerd. But he but feels the a little uh, not com- He might, might not be. But Spider-Man's nerdiness was not like geek nerd. It was like he was always smart and sarcastic. Yeah. That's why Tom Holland's a little unsure. He's like, oh. But he don't feel <laughs> smart to me. He I also don't feel Stark. super smart. Like all Tony Stark. That's true. Tony yeah. He's Tony right. Jr. I'll give you that. I'll give you and that. I, yeah. And I like Andrew Garfield now. <laughs> I'll give you that. I, now, I don't condone white men often. <laughs> I get it. But I got some coochie for Andrew Garfield if he ever needed some. <laughs> That's a white man right there. I feel there. like he would, after you That's got done, he man. would just be crying. <laughs> like, so, thank you so much. I got some coochie for Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Garfield, Garfield if he ever needed some. Andrew Garfield finding the motherfucker. I'm sorry. <laughs> And maybe that a, maybe the Jezebel was just jumping out too. watching. I enjoy he's him he's in Spider-Man. Really I really bro. liked him in uh, Social Network. Yeah. That's why uh, I when he was pissed off when at my that that that's, that's when I noticed him first. I was like, yes. And he slammed the laptop. It felt like an action scene. It, you better movie, lawyer up, asshole. That movie is verbal. Like, cool. It's it all verbal. So when he slammed the laptop, I was like, oh, They were saying some words in that movie. Yeah, It just felt like an action scene in that moment because it was so real real. He was so emo at Spider-Man. He was so what? He was so emotional. I like the darkness of it. And like, he what was. happened with his parents? What's going yeah. on with that? But he was That's funny in like. the costume. No, in the costume, I, he, he yeah. got the Spider-Man. Spider-Man would totally be getting was more the, of a sad sack he than was. Andrew. Spider-Man would be getting the bakes beat off him, and he would still be talking trash. Yeah. He got the mask half off. That's all you got. Yeah. Eyeball hanging out. I'm right. like, this nigga, you might want to stop talking. He would never stop talking. Right. That's what I love about Spider-Man, because he would be getting beat up. And yeah. then he'd be, like, he be getting get... his ass kicked in the comic books. Yeah, bro. They need to beat the Andrew mask Garfield's off of him. There's yeah. nothing you can say. The but anyway, uh, um, no. <laughs> uh, that, that's hilarious. She, I got. Some I could definitely pressure. talk Marvel for hours. seven hours. We just we supposed to be finishing. We've been talking for like ten minutes. Yeah. You, you came with the top five. Now I, I want to know everybody. Marvel, my, my uh, I will give my top five. <laughs> I, no, no order, right? No order. No okay, order. Civil War. Uh-huh. Logan X was good. Somebody mentioned that. Too. Yeah, that's not MCU. That's not though. MCU. We oh, talking yeah, yeah, Marvel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Logan yeah, okay. is in my top. Uh-huh. Yeah, if we talk all Logan Marvel, is, ever. Logan is incredible. That's a great I movie. Wept just for Logan. Logan nah, is that movie Daddy's made me, me every mad time. that they don't. Um, they don't give comic book movies. Uh, they just do with the Oscars. As I, the, the the role they play. It no, but I mean for acting. They never for acting roles. Oh. They never. They don't Hugh like Jackson Hugh Jackman should have got lead and Patrick Stewart should have got supporting at least a nom. For sure, because that nomination. Logan old with the the claws coming they, out, like, they like the claws it. came out like your old Lancer, yeah. like. And it I hurt felt him. I felt like Hugh Jackman was really in pain. Oh man, every yeah. time it looked like on his face, mm. he's a great actor by the way. And when like, they got soul glowing in 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 uh, what's the name killed. I was so mad the black oh, yeah. family had to die. Yep. Oh, That's the second time did. Wolverine did that. He did this, that in Origins. He pulled he up on did. the old people. They came in. This he keep getting people killed. He mm-hmm. all, and that's why he didn't want to help that little baby who had the two of the three. Yeah. But anyway, Winter Soldier and Civil War. Yes. Those are fantastic. They gave my top five as well. Um, Absolutely. Man. I, I feel like, like Black Panthers are no are no brainers. Black Panther is in my top five. Black Panther, the first one was a cultural moment for me. I didn't grow up reading the comic books, so I learned a lot through mm-hmm. the thing. Yeah. I didn't know people like the child is the child. And I was like, what, what y'all talking about? Yeah. So uh, Black Panther, what's that three? I really like the original Iron Man. <clears throat> Iron Man was fire. Iron Man was absolutely, yeah. and I Disney remember like Iron Man wasn't me. the guy when I was a kid. He they didn't have his own cartoon. Him. Yeah, so to kick off the the MCU, yeah. and I love, I I believe to me it's a toss up between Hugh Jackman as, and Wolverine, as Wolverine and uh, Robert Downey Jr. Because as Iron they Man are. as the people who most Perfect. encompass that character. Yeah. Cast. It's a toss up because yeah. RDJ is a a jerk. Yeah. So he has that part of Tony Stark. But and he, he also was has an alcoholic, smart. too. And yeah. he was. Yeah. So I'd be like, I'm, I'll am buy it too for a nickel. As a comic book reader, though, Hugh is not quite no, Logan. 
Yeah, he's not Logan at all. I shorter. didn't watch it. I only yeah, watch. I only Logan know the cartoons. Shang Chi. Oh yeah. yeah. Even mad. Even mad. Hugh time. Jackman is not full Logan. I hate Shang Chi. You did? You didn't, you hated I didn't like it? Aquafina. So uh, when I saw that's her fair. and Aquafina having the game winning arrow, oh, I was yeah. like, I am mad. Like, There's no way. I didn't like how they showed She that. hitting the arrow. The dragon was a uh, three thousand feet away. Yeah. You lucky if you kill anybody. Right. A, you know how hard it is to shoot an arrow? Oh, Period. Tough. And you, that's like hitting a three in game seven in your first yeah. basketball game. <laughs> Ain't no way. Yeah. So that took me out. And it was like Asian people, Black Panther, I like that. But I was just like, you can't, you you just should be in the battle. You got to trip somebody, choke somebody. Yeah. You can't have no game winning shot. Other than Aquafina being in it, it was good. It's yeah. not my top, but it was good. His mom had hands. I love mm-hmm. that. She beat the brakes off the dad and was like, I'm going to raise these babies. Oh, yeah. You ever forget. He tried to come over there and like, nah, man. She, it ain't like this. She beat the, the I rings see out of here. my son. <laughs> sure. uh, are the Avenger movies, they're all good. Yeah, one more. Uh, I got to say Infinity War. Wait, what you got? So you got, I got Civil War, Civil War Winter Soldier, Black Panther, what was four? Iron Man. Iron Man and then, and then I think Infinity, Infinity War. Infinity War. Because I believe War was a moment. I'll never forget uh Endgame is when they came back in on yeah. your left. Yeah. That might be my favorite movie moment. moment. Yeah. But Infinity War, I'll never forget it this was a better movie. story. It's a better movie. And my son was heartbroken when Spider Man turned to dust. Mm. Our kids used to sit in front of us in the movie. He turned to me with tears in his eyes. He was like <laughs> Why'd you bring me here? <laughs> Looking at me like, yeah. Do you? What did you gonna do about this? And I'm like, I'm, I'm watching what you eat, <laughs> dog. That theater and was I so remember, quiet. And I remember, like, bro, oh. Thanos told y'all was what wrong. he was gonna do in the beginning. Yeah. I'm gonna get all these rings. I'm gonna snap my fingers. Half the universe gonna die. I'm gonna go in garden. Yep. And at the end of the movie, when he That's sat what down he did. on his little he porch. He said, "Game." Blouses sat down, <laughs> that and, I, and then the movie was ended. Silent. Yeah, no, dude. no post like, credit. We were like, the movie is over. Nobody, y'all lose. It was so quiet, and the past like, theater was like, you can hear a pin drop. Man, we was like, this movie is over. <laughs> yeah, they really lost. Like you know, they gotta lose yeah. for the next movie. Right. But I was like. Y'all lost for real. They lost. It's so both that sides just... of the spectrum of that being like the low point, and then the one where Captain America and then the the portals start opening <sighs> oh, up on your the left. Oh my god! Yeah, on the, and then oh. Chadwick came in of... first, dude. That with the great, like with the great man. walk, man. Nigga bird flying around, <laughs> man. Nigga bird, he hey, they let the blacks out the portal it was first. Crazy. Jesus. They did. They said blacks first. <laughs> blacks first. No, we lost. We had. Uh, we were just calming down from when he grabbed the hammer. When he like. <sighs> Uh, we were like, ah, nigga. <laughs> and then it was on your left. We were like, no, no. Ah. Dude, I saw ah. it with BT Kingsley. <laughs> like, we, we, we were in Glendale, and he, like, there was like 16 of us at the movies, and we were, mm-hmm. dude, it was crazy. It was so good because um, uh, when I, I remember one of my favorite movies, parts, is when the uh, Scarlet Witch was was. Giving it to Thanos, yeah. And he was like, "Rain fire." And dude was like, "Sir." He was like, "Bruh, she's yeah. gonna kill me." You no, know, she was like, "You took everything from me." He was like, "Who <laughs> are you, bitch? You. I don't fucking know." Like, you. I don't know she who like, oh, you, you are. Find... She was pulling his armor off. You don't he know was gonna die. She, she had his phone out. number, his social, his <laughs> yeah. routing number, his bank account numbers. He was she had so died. Wanda, it's a fucking robot, baby. Huh? He's not a person. Nah, Ooh. that was his one division. That was her vibrator. Why Imagine somebody vision? took your rose from oh, you. Yeah. Now somebody took the, the took womanizer. <laughs> Vision's a person, man. Somebody took that womanizer from you. And I'm like, <laughs> you took everything. I literally from have a me. joke about she Vision killed, being a vibrator. I didn't bring that back. She killed. I have a joke about he that. He killed Vision twice in her face. Yeah. Mm. She had to kill him. She. Once, she, she yeah. Dog, yeah. you gotta see me. She unplugged that nigga. She did. That's she why she was fucked herself. up because she's like, well, I'm going to get the robot from the goddamn Avengers. What the fuck? <laughs> Give me the, the damn yeah. carcass. <laughs> I will kill a whole city about this dick. And she, you know what? She was waiting I for got him. It. I get it. <laughs> and it was fresh on her mind. <laughs> what? That shit had just happened. No remember, time had passed for she, her. She vanished. No time passed for her. So it was fresh. Her. You... Do you know you how won. powerful you got to be? Not only am I going to enslave a whole town, I'm taking y'all through decades of history, <laughs> oh, yeah. and y'all all going to play in my stupid little game. Right. She was playing toys with these people's lives. It was For like, real. let us go. Please. What? Trapped, yeah, I'll man. kill you. Why are we in this? I love that. But anyway, that's enough. This is what this podcast is. Uh, we'll talk top five Marvel movies another time. Yeah. Possibly. We love y'all. We'll see you next week. Time all right.